welcome back everybody it is adriana from adriana's paper crafts if this is the first video you're watching with me in it hi welcome and if you are a subscriber you've been around for a while i love you thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to me speak now today's video is actually really cool i'm really excited about it because I was contacted by someone over at Koala Paper, again actually, this has happened before, but this time it's a little bit different. Um, I was asked to review some of their paper, and so they have sent me some, but what I mean by this video is different from the last time they asked me to review some of their paper, is that this time I have been given an exclusive code that I can give to you guys to save some money when you make a purchase on their website. So I'm gonna give that code to you in just a second, but first I wanted to bring their paper out and show you what it is that they sent me. Now I have reviewed a ton of different koala paper. If you've never heard of them, they sell uh, photo paper, they sell um, sublimation supplies paper, and um, you know, just all different kinds of paper. Uh, they also sell sticker paper, and I love that. Now the first time I ever reviewed any koala paper, uh, no one had asked me to do it. It was my true and honest opinion and apparently it makes some people laugh whenever they watch that video um, because I had a lot of thoughts. Now that video was a while back and since then I stock a butt ton, honestly, a butt ton of koala paper because they just sell so many different uh, sizes, finishes, weights. Um, types like I said they also sell sticker paper I believe they sell HTV paper and um, again so I keep a lot of their paper in stock but that doesn't necessarily mean that I've tried every single paper they have um, I have tried some of their matte paper that I personally like to use as just white cardstock a lot of uh, their different photo papers and I have been sent um, paper similar to this before but today this is the 5 by 7 uh, 48 pound koala glossy photo paper now the last five by seven paper that I had reviewed of theirs is different from this paper and I actually do want to speak a little bit about the difference um, but this five by seven paper I will be using it today to print out a couple of things and hopefully it'll inspire you to use some of this paper for some of those kinds of things anyways the link to this specific paper is in the description box below the code is also there but i i just want to know is anybody psychic can you guess what the code is just just like put your feelers out there what is the code because it's so difficult to guess it's literally adriana okay the code is literally adriana so you go to the koala website again i will link it down below and you add whatever the heck you want to add to your cart you type in discount code adriana by the way i love this code because it's going to help some people learn how to pronounce and spell my name that is because some of you know there is another kind of popular youtube in our craft field whose name is very similar to mine and people mistake us for one another all the time and it's a little awkward when it happens because they'll be like oh i love your stuff and then they'll say her name and i'm like oh my god that's not me <laughs> okay even in my own facebook group it's a little awkward so anyways the code is adriana it is spelled a-d-r-i-a-n-a -A -A, and it's going to get you 15 percent off anything on their website all right I don't know about you, but I'm freaking out about it because I've never had a discount code personalized, number one, for me, number two, it is literally my name, and number three, it's 15% off. Oh, you guys, I've kind of gone off on a little tangent, um, but I do want to say one of the biggest reasons that I'm a fan of Koala Paper is their prices. I've discussed this before, and I'm not going to name drop the other company in which I hate their prices going to say their name but some of you know exactly who I'm talking about because I have brought it up before but their prices are already reasonable all right you break down their prices by sheet of paper and you're paying hardly anything the quality is amazing for what you're paying and then they give you amazing discounts you don't have to wait until that once or twice or three times a year sale that they have and where you can get their stuff and it be affordable it's affordable all the time 
Now, before we go any further, I do want to clarify because I'm not sure that I have clarified enough for some people in the past, but a lot of Koala glossy paper really requires the use of dye ink. Now, some people have messaged me or commented and said, how come my black ink never dries? Well, apparently that's because the black ink cartridge that is in your printer, in your inkjet printer, it's made of pigment ink. Now, if your color inks are staying, if they're drying well, that means your color cartridges are dye ink, but your black is pigment. Uh, now you can go and you can, if you want to Google the ink that you're using, you can see what exactly it is. But I always use my Canon Pixma Pro. You can see it right here. Um, it's an inkjet printer. And I've never, ever, ever, ever had an issue with any koala paper, which to me just means that all of the ink that I use with this printer are dye ink. And I've also made a video where I let you know where I get my ink from. I do not buy my ink from Canon because I try to charge an arm and a leg. I get my ink from inkjets.com. So there you go. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to it. Don't forget, I'm linking this paper below. The paper that I previously reviewed was this 5x7. It is um, 72 pound photo paper, so I did love this one. Um, it is in the finished satin, which we've discussed before. Satin is not as glossy as high gloss. Um, however, it really helps to not capture the ink off of your fingertips. So I do like satin finish as well. And I actually need to give me more of this because I'm just about to run out. But I used this for some menus that went out a couple of months back. This one is 48 pounds. It comes with 100 in a sheet, uh, sorry, in a pack. And this pack is uh, $10.99, I believe, for a pack of 100. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is my screen that you are seeing. I'm actually going to be printing two projects today on this Koala photo paper. The first is a thank you card, and the second is going to be this price guide. I want to see how the different colors work on this photo paper. As you can see, this one kind of has like a holographic design to it. Um, and since this photo paper that we're using today is high gloss, I really want to see what those details look like. And then with this thank you card, um, I want to see what the gold comes off like. All right. So normally I don't do thank you cards at a five by seven, but I don't think a customer would get mad if you did send them a really big thank you card. Am I right? So let's go ahead and get printing. As I always let you guys know, I am using my Canon Pixma Pro. I absolutely love it. Um, and it does print borderless. So I'm going to go ahead and click print. All right, now since we are gonna be printing directly onto five by seven paper, you do need to make sure that you actually set your printer settings to five by seven. So here under my printer paper size, I'm gonna go down and then I'll click five by seven. I'm going to change my media type to photo paper plus glossy. Um, you can also use glossy photo paper. I've noticed that with my specific Canon printer, it doesn't really make a difference which glossy setting I use. So I'm just gonna pick the first one. Um, I do have my borderless printing setting on. So I'm gonna make sure that I have it to the least amount of extension. Click okay. And let's put the paper in there. All right, so I'm actually I'm gonna go ahead and open this and what I want to do is give you my kind of real-time reaction on what it feels like let's take one out all right all right so first things that I noticed right away of course it's definitely lighter than the 72 pound duh because this is 48 pound um, I'm gonna actually turn my light to see if it can kind of show you you can yeah there you go you can catch that is high high gloss so my um eight and a half by 11 copy paper that i use from koala to make my chip bags and all that uh, my party favors is just as glossy i love it the back is smooth so you'll easily be able to tell 
which is the back and which is the front. It doesn't have any writing on it, so that's really cool. And honestly, this is kind of like a writing surface. It's nice and matte, so you could even write things on the back. But I think it's nice and lightweight, especially for a thank you card. Maybe for a menu, you would want something thicker. Um, but for a thank you card, I honestly feel like this is perfect. So let's go ahead and put it into the printer. I'm going to do one at a time just to start off. All right. All right. The only reason it kind of looks like it's overexposed is just because of the light that's on it. So let's move you out of the light a little bit so you can see that. Wow. Oh, my God. Look at that gloss. Ugh. Oh, my God. And it's like really, I mean, obviously, since my thank you cards are smaller than this, it, it looks big, but I love it. This, you just add this into your package whenever you're shipping it out. Wow. So I use like a metallic gold in the design. Whenever you use something like that or any kind of glitter in any of your designs, you really want to pick a paper that's super glossy so that it looks like legit glitter or legit uh that metallic pattern whenever you print it out wow oh my god i really love it and as you can see i'm rubbing it you saw it it literally just came out i haven't stopped the video and there's no ink transfer and it doesn't bleed through to the back wow oh my god i really 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 love this all right, let's try our second design now. All right, so I printed out that second image. All right, so here is the second image that was printed. Do you see that gloss? I you don't understand <laughs> how in love I am with that and this is the one that I said obviously it has a holographic look to it so it really helps it you know to really give that extra oomph to the design that is amazing I mean obviously my printer did a good job too <laughs> With all the colors, it really, I mean, it looks just like it did in Photoshop. That is amazing. Oh, I love it. And so something like this, you guys, this is a 5 by 7 It is perfect kind of flyer material to give out. If you're having a pop-up shop, if you are going to an event and you want to have some of your menus or, you know, something that's more than just a boring business card. And of course, if that's what you do, you know, I do not mean any offense, but I think that something like this, having something like this on you or using it to give out is perfect. Not only is it big enough to make sure that you are not forgotten because hello, you, you know, you can't just, little business card can get lost in the back pocket. You know, but people can actually go ahead and be educated on what it is that you sell or provide without you having to constantly send links or, you know, details and things like that. Obviously, these are not the only things that you can make with these, but if you haven't thought about it, thank you cards, little price guides, menus, things like that um, should really be something that you start to give out. So... Again, I'm going to link everything in the description box below, so make sure that you're checking out that description box. Um, the code for 15% off anything on their website is Adriana, A-D-R-I-A-N-A, -A. all right? Now, if you do need any Koala products overnighted to you, I will say that you can also actually get some of their products off of Amazon. However, your code is going to work on their website. So if you want that 15% discount that you wouldn't get on Amazon, go ahead and place your order through the Koala website. Um, again, all the links would be down below. As a reminder, before you go and purchase all of their paper, make sure to check your printer's ink first. You will need the use of dye ink. Pigment ink will probably run. So just double check real quick. And 
if you need it on the back of all of their packages i've noticed they have a troubleshooting guide so if you have a certain question why is this happening or why is this happening they actually answer your questions for you so make sure to turn your package around and if you need to either take a picture of the red sheet or keep the red sheet i have a picture of this on my phone and anytime somebody has some kind of concern with their paper from koala i literally just paste this picture to them and i say here you go it's all right here <laughs> so make sure not to throw it away again this was a review of the koala uh, inkjet glossy photo paper in a 48 pound um, it is not waterproof or anything so just in case you were wondering i don't think i mentioned that earlier but honestly i love this i'm going to start printing out um more of my thank you cards actually right now with this Anyways, let me know what you guys think. If you have already used this, let me know what your thoughts were. Make sure to use the code and the links below to get your discounts. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.